Hey girl, good morning, welcome to my bathroom. Today I'm gonna show you my skincare routine. My face is wet, so we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna get into all that, but if you don't already know, I do have combination dehydrated skin. I do also have rosacea, so if you are interested, then keep watching. I also wanna shout out La Mer for sponsoring a portion of today's video. We are going to be talking about the moisturizing soft cream by La Mer, so make sure you stay tuned toward the latter part of the video when I apply this, and we'll go over it some more. Okay, so it's the morning time. I've already worked out, and when I get up in the morning, around four or five in the morning, I don't wash my face necessarily because my skin is dehydrated as I said so I want to replenish the moisture that I lost at nighttime so what I do is I go in with a serum and then a moisturizer and then I work out and then when I'm gonna shower is when I actually wash my face with a cleanser so let's start off at that point right when I'm actually gonna shower okay so this morning I washed my face at the sink but of course I do this sometimes in the shower but I did it at the sink because I wanted to show you I started off with the Dermalogica pre-cleanse now this is a product that I've used for so long and it's so good. It's a clear liquid. You wanna move it all around your hands and then rub it onto your face. It's going to feel like an oil on your face. So it's a cleansing oil. You may have heard of that product. I know that I've mentioned it many times. You may have heard it in other places. The key to breaking down either your sweat, your SPF, your moisturizer, dirt, all the things that we encounter in our day-to-day -day lives. You wanna start off your cleansing routine with a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm. I love to use a dermalogical one because it's easy. It smells really good, it has a light lemon scent to it, and it just works. So after you've rubbed it onto your face, and I do this in the morning, like I said, after I've worked out, because you wanna break down that sweat, and then take some water onto your hands, rub it together, and then rub your face again, you'll begin to see that the product will emulsify. And what that's doing is it's really activating the product to break down the sweat, the dirt, and all of that, and whatever products you had on from the night before that are still left over. Then I go with my cleanser, and as you can see here, I'm using the Youth to the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Superfood Cleanser, the long name, honey. And this I have been enjoying. It definitely is gentle. I love the glass bottle, just makes it really luxurious. And I use this and make it sudsy with some water, rub that onto the face. We know that we wanna give our face at least a 60 second cleanse. So really take the time to cleanse all of that off. One thing I noticed with my new hairstyle, which by the way, if you love it, let me know. I'm gonna style it afterward. You have to be careful when you have bangs to make sure that you're cleansing the, the skin underneath those bangs. But make sure you're focusing on your hairline, get your chin area. The chin is where I usually get my breakouts, the hormonal acne, okay? Make sure you are cleansing all of that. And of course the eyes, right? Get all that, like cleanse it good, honey. I don't use any kind of pads or whatever. I just use my hands, my fingers, and I rub the product in to really cleanse everything off. Then I rinse that off and that really is my cleanse. It's called the double cleanse, okay? Then I go in with a serum. Now the first serum that I've been using for quite some time now is this Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic acid serum. This stuff is good, okay? I've been using this day and night, so I just go ahead and put some on my fingers. I don't put my skincare on the palms of my hands. I put it on the fingers, okay? And then I rub onto my face, of course wanting to get the cheeks because my cheeks tend to get dry clearly on the chin, just get everywhere. I have bangs, so I'm tilting my head so that I don't get the product on my on my hair, obviously, right? And I love to use a serum because this is going to give my skin hydration. You wanna go in with your most loose product, so a serum first, to give your skin the hydration, something with water, and then you want to add a moisturizer to give your skin moisture. And we're gonna use the La Mer Moisturizing Soft Cream in just a little bit, okay? So rub all of that. In, and I just love, I love the glow, baby, okay? And one thing I like to do if you've been here for a while is always take the leftover product and put it on my hands. Your hands are gonna show signs of aging just like your neck and your chest and your face will. So you might as well take care of it and put those products on your hands. All right, now, not every day I use two serums. Some days I do, some days I don't. It depends on how I'm feeling, right? One serum that I have been using is the Glow Recipe Guava Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum. Now, as a result of acne, we, brown skin girls, tend to get dark spots, okay? That's post-hyperpigmentation. After an acne breakout, usually when I'm playing around with the acne pimple, which I have stopped doing, but I sometimes revert back, and then I'm like picking the pimple, you best believe it's gonna leave a dark spot. Either 
way it goes, I like to use a dark spot serum just to combat it because stuff just be happening. I have a few dark spots on my forehead, nothing too wild and crazy. The chin normally gets dark spots, so I like to use this dark spot serum. Knowing me, I'm doing like two pumps of this, okay? And rub that. I do put it all over the face, not just where I have the dark spots because the dark spots tend to pop up like wherever. Again, I might get a pimple on my forehead and my hairline, and I just need to make sure that I am keeping that area treated. Okay, left over on the hands. If you're like me, you have dark spots on your hands too. Again, you wanna bring your skincare to your neck and chest. I'm avoiding my neck and chest because I have eczema and I tend to see flare-ups when I put this stuff on it. So I just usually stick to my body cream for the neck and chest, but certainly I use my skincare stuff on my hands, okay? Now, of course, you wanna do your eye cream. I do the eye cream at this step usually because I want to hydrate my skin right away. You don't want your skin to get dry. Do not let your skin get dry, okay? So like that's just step number one. Don't let your skin get dry. It's gonna be uncomfortable. If you have dehydrated skin like I do, I don't want my skin to get dry. So I do the serums first and then I'm going to use this Ula Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream, taking a little bit on the back of my long nails, honey, okay? I like to use the ring finger. It's a gentle way to apply it and patting some. And then here, let's start with this eye and applying it on the orbital bone and just rubbing it in, in this fashion, okay? I used to feel like I had to go like real in close to my eyelashes and all of that. This product, eye creams are going to travel. They're going to travel to that area. So don't feel like you gotta do all of that, okay? Don't neglect the eyelid, get the eyelid too, honey. Okay, and here we go. So that's eye cream. And now we go in with the moisturizer. I know you may be thinking like, whoa, that's a lot. But the, here's the thing. I have dehydrated skin, like I told you. So all of this is extremely comfortable for me. And that is what I need. My skin needs water. That's dehydration. Now with the La Mer Moisturizing Soft Cream, what I love is the idea of moisture wardrobing. So if you're thinking of nighttime, normally I like to really go heavy with the hydration, heavy with the moisturization too, because overnight our skin does lose hydration and moisture. But during the day, because of all of this, I like to go a little bit lighter. It's not as cold here in Houston. In fact, it's like 90 degrees today. So something light is perfect for me. And the La Mer Moisturizing Soft Cream is perfect for that. So you wanna take a small amount and then of course you want to activate it by rubbing it on the tips of your fingers like I'm doing right now. Again, don't do the palms, do the tip of your fingers, okay? And then we are going to apply this. I like to always start at the cheeks, of course, and rub that in. It has a nice light scent to it getting this on the forehead as well and it's so light and comfortable and again for the morning time this is the kind of moisturizer that is gonna one keep me moisturized like i feel the moisture but it's not heavy it's comfortable and for me i just love a good shine after i've done my skincare i want to see my skincare okay i want to see what's going on love that comment and let me know if you are loving the moisture on my skin right now okay and we ain't gonna waste no product baby back of the hand here we go here we go oh, yeah to eye blink, okay. Now this does contain Miracle Broth, Lime Tea, and Moisturizing Spheres. This is perfect for daytime, amazing if you want something moisturizing yet soft, right? Not too heavy on the skin for the daytime. And the last step of my skincare routine, this really is for anyone. It doesn't matter what skin type you have, what concerns you got, you need to make sure you are wearing your SPF, okay? And the one I'm using today, and it happened for a while now, if you've been here, then you already know you've heard me talk about this quite often. And it is the Dermalogica Dynamic Skin Recovery SPF 50. I'm taking the hair back for this one, okay? Cause you wanna make sure you're using an ample amount of SPF. Now I am, the way the pump is, I can't really get it on my two fingers the way I want to, but girl, you need to make sure you are putting on an ample amount of SPF, okay? Because otherwise you're not getting the full SPF 50 coverage, like hello? Make sure you are applying a lot. And if you're using Using a chemical SPF, then it really should melt into your skin seamlessly, even if it takes a few minutes after you've applied it. Now the SPF really should come down to your neck and chest. So let me just do that today because hello, we're getting sun exposure on almost all of our body, but certainly the neck and the chest, right? So make sure you do that and look at how that blends in so well. And the La 
Mer Moisturizing Soft Cream looks great in between all of the things that I did. Leftover is going on the back of my hands or just all over the hands, honey, okay? My morning skincare routine is donezo. I want you to comment and let me know if you've tried any of these products. Let me know what you're using in your morning skincare routine. What questions do you have? Are you still confused about a morning skincare routine? Do you even have one? Like you can watch this video thinking like, okay, that's cute, but I don't do all of that. I wanna know what you're doing. What is it that you're doing? I need to know. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I want you to comment below and let me know. Give the video a thumbs up. Let me know if you want to see an updated nighttime skincare routine. And thank you to La Mer for sponsoring a portion of the video. And I'm glad that you are here and you watched. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you join my text community because it's free and you should join. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Share the video with your friends. Bookmark it. Watch it again and again if you need a refresher on what steps I'm using for my skin in the morning and what you should be doing too. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.